Welcome back to uh, AFL Today and Sports World. We've been running a fabulous competition throughout the year for the mark of the year, the Ford 7 Sport. Yesterday, thousands and thousands of people around Australia put in their vote for the mark of the year. Let's take a look at the contestants. The first one, G. Ablett. Followed by Troy Eugle. Oh. Nicky Widmer. Oh, what a mark. Sensational. Yes, it wasn't bad, Bruce. Um, oh, Darren Mullane. His kick. Down and Michael Mitchell. Mitchell. Oh, what a mark, Michael Mitchell. Yes, as Drew Morford said, what a mark, Michael Mitchell. And as everybody who was watching yesterday's telecast knows right now that Michael Mitchell has won the Ford 7 Sport Mark of the Year. Michael's in with us today. And also Annette Oprey, who's the advertising manager of the Ford Motor Company. Welcome, Michael. Congratulations. And also Thanks, Annette. Thanks, Gee, it's not a bad prize. Is it a Ford Laser GL hatch? Yeah, it's a very good prize. A couple of seconds, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Just a couple of seconds, but a fair bit of skill too, Michael. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you got a licence, Michael? Yeah, I've got a licence. Oh, you'll be right. That's the main thing, yeah. Now, Michael, when you started that leap, did you really think you know, you've got a good chance of uh, marking this? Or? I, I thought I was out it of it. Fluke or what? Yeah, I was just going for the spoil, huh? but then when I realised I got there, I had a go at it. Michael, what about that mark you took before you even came over here? You were twice as high as that. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Oh. I don't think I'll do that again. Have you, have you always been blessed with that spring, Michael? Because you really are a spring-heeled jack. Were you an athlete at school? Yeah, I'm pretty light and got a bit of spring, so... I think you're it. a bit of a sprinter too, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Michael, when you, you took, what, almost a year off, was it? Yeah, uh, was it was it very games. serious? You know, yeah, the, the it was knocks. very serious. Yeah. What I, what made you come back to it? Just the love of the game. Oh, I, I guess I missed it, and uh, Richard made it worthwhile to come back. So. Michael, we're talking about last year where you had a number of head injuries. Yeah. Just just tell us the problem. Uh, it happened in the uh, practice game against North Melbourne at Bayswater, and what happened was I shouldn't have played the first few games because I wasn't right and. Because there's a lot of pressure on these days to play, and I said I was right, and just got worse. Never got better. It was actually just a concussion, just kept accumulating, and had to have a rest. Well, we're pleased you came back because yeah. Annette's about to uh, present you with uh, something that's going to make you very happy. Annette. Certainly, thanks, Bruce. Well, I'd just like to congratulate you, Michael, on a terrific and spectacular mark, and mm. hand you the keys of the laser gel hatch, which mm. I'm sure you'll enjoy. Right. Thank you. Thanks very much, Annette. Pleasure. Um, I'd like to thank Ford Australia for the car. Uh, it's a pretty good prize. I'm sure we need a new car. <laughs> so, I'd also like to apologise to uh, Morrison, Judy, Mippy, because I was supposed to be at their uh, christening and I'm here, unfortunately. Oh, I'm sure so, they'll understand. Yeah. Thank you. Give them a ride in the car. It's just amazing. <laughs> yeah. It amazes me how you have so many head injuries, Michael, when you seem to be always three or four stories high. Really. Uh, you've got to come down. <laughs> <laughs> and you're all three or four paces in front of everybody else. Well, yeah. Michael, uh, what do you think of the new rule uh, that where a player who, who has been concussed can't go back on the field? How yeah. did Gavin Brown get back on yeah, yesterday? Well, <laughs> that's what I was going to ask, Bob. Yeah. Oh, thank you I much. think it's very good yeah, because it's very easy to lose sight of what you're doing. Mm. Michael, we're about to have a look at the prize that you've won, the, the Ford Laser GL hat. So this is a car you'll be driving, a fantastic car. Gee, over the years, the, the style, they've, they've just kept on improving and improving and uh, you're going to have a lot of fun in that car and uh, we thank Ford very much for their support during the year. And there was a lucky viewer yesterday who was also successful in winning a Ford Laser. This was part of our grand final day, Kay Lowe of uh, Frankston North and Victoria, who was the lucky person who was picked out of all the thousands and thousands that rang in. And it, we had hundreds of yeah, thousands yesterday. Terrific response. It was most pleasing. It was a great promotion. Mm -hmm. And it, thanks for your support and also your company's support. A pleasure. And Michael, congratulations. Uh, thanks, job Bruce. well done. Mm -hmm. Michael sure. Mitchell, who took the mark of the year. More on Sports World in just a moment. He's also in contention for the BP Goal of the Year as we take a look at the six finalists now in this competition. And we start with Mark Bays in just a moment. The BP Goal of the Year Award is brought to you by BP on the move. This is the half forward line. And Bays. this was a tremendous goal. Forward to out here. Getting rid of Shane Nord. Nord. SCG. Mark Bays, this will be a sensational goal. 
Oh, what fantastic play. You'll never see a better goal than that anyway. He's well, that's what Peter McKenna said. Colin what about Colin Nukes goal? I like this one will a bit. take right on? Yes, he does. I thought he would. One bounce. Oh. Another bounce. Mm -hmm. Left foot. Look at this. A marvellous kick. He's put them in front. That's as good as you'll ever see. Well, that's what I reckon. <laughs> and what about P. Dacos? Can this boy play? Tom Elvin. Dacos under the left foot. Is this a miraculous goal? A brilliant effort by Dacos. Well, that one was just miraculous. Michael Mitchell takes the ball at centre half back. Don Scott proves that he can count because he went right up to seven after this. Third bounce. He's running towards the 50. He wants to kick a goal. No question about that. Watch this. I want a goal, Michael Mitchell says to himself. Oh, great effort. And a brilliant call by Dennis Cometti setting that one up. Lyon. Ross Lyon. This was Dodging pretty useful. Oh, smothered off the boot by Nixon was great play. It's been Have smothered, then Lyon smothers Lyon. and finds Lyon a bit of space for himself. Foot. Left Could foot. Give it a hand pass, but he elects to kick it goal. I think he's put it through. Can't get around Cork Now, I remember this one. I like this one out at Still Windy Cork Hill. Amelis. Still Cork Amelis. Left foot. Good kick. Magnificent kick. What a goal. Yes, what a goal. There were six of the very, very best there. And as uh, Peter McKenna said, you won't see anything better than Mark Bays. And I said, Colin, you wouldn't see anything better than that. Well, we did. Michael Mitchell, he won it again. He's won the goal of the year and the mark of the year. And here he is taking the ball at centre half back. And Dennis Cometti picked it. One bounce, two bounces, and another one. And Michael, you're still with us. Uh, did you really feel like you're going to take a shot when you got the ball at centre half back? Uh, I was a bit worried about missing, but I was riding it all the way through. <laughs> I mean, did, did you really set yourself when you started on that run? I didn't think I'd get that far, but I got there, so I had shot. Absolutely. Well, Gary Donaldson, the Victorian retail sales manager of BP Australia, has joined us. Gary, welcome. Thank you very much for your support throughout the year, and uh, you've got a, a special prize for Michael. Yeah, thanks, Bruce. Yes, Michael, indeed, it was a, uh, certainly a great effort, and on behalf of BP and uh, its dealers, I'd like to present you with... One year's worth of free fuel from BP. Thanks very much. Well done. Mm, good time to get it. Yeah. <laughs> worth thousands. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Gary. The timing couldn't have been better after Michael's just won a Ford Laser about a minute and a half ago. Indeed, it wasn't set up at all, but it's worked out well for Michael. <laughs> Michael. Mm. Yeah, um, I'd like to thank BP Australia for the fuel. It'll come in very handy with the car. And the way the prices are going, it'll be very handy. <laughs> <laughs> now, Michael, I've got to ask you, do you prefer to kick a goal like that or take a mark like the other one? Oh, I like to kick goals, <laughs> so, but the marks are okay. <laughs> Michael, after you'd, after you'd had that big run, did you do anything for the rest of the day or was that it? Uh, did you no, knock I was, yourself I was out feeling real good in the last quarter Were in you? that game. Yeah, I've always played pretty well up there, so yeah. I like the ground. You've got tremendous speed, uh, explosive power. What's your endurance like? Oh, fairly good. Well, I used to be good a couple of years ago. <laughs> Not a so bit old, man. <laughs> and Michael? Uh, when you start on a run like that, just how far downfield do you look? You look is it 20 metres or 70? How far do you look down? Oh, you've got to look everywhere, but you know what's going on, but you see what's coming at you, I guess. You see, KB's been on my back to uh, run with the ball more, and uh, I guess that's... <laughs> and not handball like that. Yeah, yeah. Michael, you're one of the quickest players I've ever seen, I can honestly say that. Now... That skill, it's not easy to run at full pace and bounce a ball like you do. Do you practice that or do you really work or has it been a natural thing? Um, about five minutes before I did that, I tried another, went to go for another run and I bounced it and it went out there <laughs> somewhere. So, Michael, do you um, think you might drive home for Christmas? Uh, yeah, <laughs> if you're driving home, it'll be good. <laughs> what, what are you going to do, Michael? Are you still living in Western Australia? Or, I mean, obviously you're based in Melbourne during the yeah. footy season. What do you do in the off-season? Uh, I'm going to do a pre-season this year because I didn't do one last year. I was told to rest till January by the neurosurgeon, so I didn't do one, and I think my footy suffered a bit because of it. So when you say pre-season, you're going to do a pre-season here in Melbourne with the yeah. rest of the Richmond team? Mm. Yeah, it'll be first time, so... So it'll be a short trip home this time? Yeah, for sure. Michael, congratulations. It was mm. a, a tremendous double. Uh, I think unique. I don't think it's happened before on, uh, on Seven Sport. The panel, by the way, the, we had a panel of experts that sat down and they took yeah. a long time to work out just uh, who had the... Uh, the goal of the year. And Gary, thank you very much for your company support. We've really appreciated it throughout the year. Pleasure, Bruce. Mm -hmm. Okay, Michael Mitchell and uh, Gary Donaldson with the uh, BP goal of the year.